Good day, Aussie bonsai bloke. Here you going? Today, another beautiful day. The weekend's been beautiful. Spring's here, and today I'm going to start a project on a shade shelter for the bonsai, ready for summer because it'll sneak up on me too quick. Um, I don't have the infrastructure or the, you know, the wood or whatever to make. A proper big shelter. Adrian Eggleton gave me some shade cloth and I plan on putting it up but maybe not this year just because basically I, I gotta build a whole patio. That's how big this thing is. It's oh probably eight or ten meters by ten meters this area. So I basically gotta build a full size patio frame and then put shade cloth over the top so it's going to be a while before one I can afford it until I get around to it so I might try and keep keep an eye on gum tree and look for an old patio that someone's pulling down and recycle all the wood see how we go but in the meantime what's happened is my brother pulled down his shade shelter from his pool and I think I might put that up it's uh I think the shade itself is about four and a half meters by four and a half meters, but the poles have to be seven meters by seven meters apart. Um, and then they have like a long strip going to it. So I might put that up. The only problem is the um, the sunblock effect from the shade is too much. It's, uh, I think, 80% at least, which is too much. But we do get some pretty severe summers, so hopefully it'll be okay. And it's only going to be for another year, I hope. And then I'll have the full structure of like a patio up with the proper shade cloth. Um, and I'll just round up some bits and pieces. But I can actually start making that frame around this other shade that I'm going to put up. And I can start making it around that, I hope. That's the idea. So what I've got to do now is I've got to get the tape measure out. God knows where I put the thing. And I've got to measure seven meters by seven meters by seven meters and then back. And then cement, dig some holes, cement some posts in. Another thing too, in the shed here. Right, the poles, the poles are a bit short because he's cut them off at ground level rather than digging them out. So a little bit too short. So what I thought is in the shed here, I could put a buckle on this pole here, put a hole inside the shed, have it go out of there. And that way, hopefully, that'll give me a spare spare post and I could cut a third off cut it into thirds weld it onto the other three posts and make them a little bit longer I hope so a bit of mucking around but it always is mucking around when you use recycled stuff but it's free so that's the main thing so all right let's get into it I've got to measure first then you've got to dig some holes Hi. I don't want to check. Hi. I don't want to check. Yeah, okay. Be careful leaving them in there because I might use them. No, wait, wait, wait. When I'm ready, I'm packing these. Yeah. Really?
a little bit of water on like a watering can. Just sprinkle it around. A bit on this side. Get that nice near foot. Do I do a bit more? Uh, no, that will do. Do I need to go Yes, please. Well guys, got them all cemented in, cementing's done, another pole there, got them angled slightly out so that when it gets tensioned up it might be reasonably straight, another pole over here, I didn't end up putting that extension, welding extension on, I couldn't be bothered. I hope in the middle it doesn't hit my head, as long as it's just above my head. They look pretty tall though, like... Here's me standing on me flat foot and I can just reach the top there. And it's pretty much like that on that one. That one's a little bit shorter. And then i still got to put a hole in the shed for that one, so I'll get to that. And I'll cover these back over. Some dirt and then some rocks. looks good and then I'll get back to you cheers bloody beauty good day Aussie Ponzo block here how you going uh, so it's the next day after the posts have been cemented in and I really wanted to put up the shade and don't really need it yet I'm just keen to put it up and see what it looks like um, not hot enough yet to worry about it, but um, You know the posts are there. I put the rocks back around it Cleaned it up The other ones over there, and then the other ones gonna go to the shed there, but the forecast for the next week is strong winds and I really want to let these set properly before they have to handle strong winds so Unfortunately, you're going to have to stay tuned till next week. Cheers! Good day! Was he bonzo a bloke? going? Well, we've waited a week. I wanted to put it up the day after, as I said, but we did have forecasts of wind but the wind never really came in so I probably could have done it anyway but anyway it's a good thing I did wait a week just let the cement set for another week so it should be good so today's the day that the shade is going up even though we don't need it now because we just had 18 mil of rain and it's freezing cold it's been a cold weekend but we're putting it up anyway putting up the shade shelter so all I've got to do is drill a hole in the side of the shed and cut it out a bit so that the buckle can come out to hold onto the shade thing and then all I'm going to do is clip it in the corners and adjust it, tighten it up and hopefully, hopefully the posts don't pull over and it all comes together so anyway, pretty excited so it should be good then when summer comes along should have no issue with burning I hope and I'll be able to put the more sensitive plants in the middle under the shade and the harder ones on the outside so it'll probably be olives on the outside and then work away to deciduous trees uh, in the middle but anyway no worries let's get to it eh? cheers
tonight. Aussie Funs are blood kick out. Well, we got the shade shelter up. Um, you can probably tell on the hyperlapse or the walking around, I did have a bit of trouble. I had it too tight on one side, too loose on the other, pulled it sideways. So it wasn't square, which left one edge, you know, dripping down and quite loose. But we sorted that out. We sh shortened up one cable, lengthened the other one, cut the cables now to the right length, tighten them all up. As you can see, I can walk under here now without hitting my head, so that's good. That's the main thing I wanted to be able to walk around without hitting my head. Didn't want to have to walk around like a hunchback. Anyway, that's it. The old shade chill is up. I'll get behind the camera and um, I'll get behind the camera and give you a bit of a close up look of it. Cheers. And I might show you a couple plants that are repotted lately just to show you that there's some green on them. Some people might think I was too aggressive or it was not the right method, but I'll just show you that they're green and happy. So I'll show you that. Cheers. Okay, so let's go in and have a look at this. So here's a one post here. Got all these turnbuckles and stuff here done. It's nice and tight, pretty flat. You have a look how flat it is. Barely any sort of looseness in that at all. It's almost dead straight across, which is good. One, it gives me the headroom, and two, I'm hoping that it slows down the um, flapping in the breeze. So you can see now, got this shade cloth. I wish it was sunny so I could show you, you know, the, sh the shadow that it puts out. Because if you have a look, it's quite big. It actually takes up nearly the whole area, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure in some of these plants will love it, absolutely love it. Uh, what was I going to show you? Here, that's me 11... 11 year old very first bonsai that I repotted recently you can see all the green buds all over it absolutely beautiful the other ash tree which I put into that big pot you can see same thing it's got all new buds all over it it's greening up ready to shoot so that's pretty cool really cool going well um, one other thing I was going to show you was a few people have been asking about how this sandpaper and I'll just show you too the pepper tree you can see the leaves in winter go really brown they pretty much drop off you know I, I almost call them semi deciduous these pepper trees they'll drop off new lot will grow and that's without a repot this year so there you go but anyway this is what I was going to say people keep asking for an update on how this bark went and I have showed it in some of the tours but I'll show it again it's been an absolute success you have a look at this bark in here now you have a look at that nice craggly old bark now only one year ago roughly that was really smooth boring sort of branching now it's got some real age age look about it and all I did was sandpaper it and some of these cracks in there now are quite deep and that's just from the trauma of getting sandpapered so keep it in mind next time you want to get some old bark on your olive I'm not sure about other trees but certainly on the olive and it's really gone black it's so cool it's actually Massive success, really. So, yeah, anyway. That's pretty cool. So, that's pretty much it. Everything's looking pretty healthy, getting ready to shoot in spring. I wish I had a um, quadcopter to be able to take you up over the top. 
but you can see that shade cloth on top now hopefully it's not too strong but you never know um, I'll go get that ladder over there and I'll get up on it and we'll see whether we can have a bit of a down view on it go okay. I'll leave you you know what I'll leave you live for it you can come for a walk get bounced around a bit There's the old beers it took. That's how many beers it took to put up the shelter. Looks like about four or five there. Good effort. Well, I'm just carrying the ladder behind me here. Okay, I'm gonna climb the ladder. Let's see if we can get a bit of a down view. Oh, this ladder's sketchy as. And I'm standing on the top rung. Oh my God, I feel so unsafe. Holy crap, I'm so unsafe right here. Yeah, well, it's all I dare to do. Oh, Jesus. Whew, it's landed on me back. Oh, Jesus. Whew, it's landed on me back. Oh, Jesus. Whew, it's landed on me back, but I feel okay. Luckily, there's no rocks where I landed. And that's why you don't try and step on the top, <laughs> or the top rug of a ladder while you got nothing to support yourself because you got no balance. Idiot, you idiot. All right, let's get up. Oh. Alright, luckily I just fell in mud, probably got a bit of a dirty bum, but she's all good, bit of dirt on the hands, beautiful, that's such a rickety ladder, it's all bent up, I cut a tree limb once and it fell on it and bent it up, it's not a very stable ladder and that's what happens, no worries, cheers for watching Aussie Bonsai bloke! Please like, share, subscribe, tell your mates about the channel. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you are watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much. Cheers from Aussie Bonsai Bloke. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.